Wyatt and Rika here. We're in downtown Paris and we're gonna hit as many sites as we can today. Let's go. So we made it to our first destination, the St. Chapelle Chapel, which is very well known for its stained glass walls that it has, which is supposedly beautiful. We're super excited. Let's go in. <laughs> this chapel was built in the 13th century by King St. Louis to house his religious relics. The reason I'm whispering is because we're supposed to be really quiet in here, but this place has 618 square meters of stained glass and it's depicting over 1100 biblical figures. This place is stunning. Okay, Smart. we have to get one. The only question is which color? <laughs> um, look, you, can't, you can't wear it like that. You gotta. Like this? Oh! Do I look French? Like this? Is it cute? Yes! So Thank you. Yeah. Now we're ready for Paris. <laughs> Total French mode. Is that right? We are currently standing near the Notre Dame, and no one's allowed inside currently because on April 15th, 2019, a fire broke out. And by the time the fire was extinguished, the roof had been destroyed and the upper walls were severely damaged. And it's currently in reconstruction now and people should be able to go back in at around 2024. Look at that French girl over there. What a cutie. I should go introduce myself. Je m'appelle Wyatt. Je m'appelle Rika. Ah, que guapa. That's Spanish. <laughs> I'm trilingual. What can I say? One cool side effect of Paris being such a hub for tourism is that when you're walking around, you hear just a huge number of languages. Like we've heard Spanish, French, English even, and more. All right, off to the next stop. So I'm a vegetarian, and after living in Mexico, Puerto Rico, and Spain, which none of them are really renowned for their vegetarian food, it's really refreshing to be in Paris where you have restaurants with the vegetarian sign pretty often.
Bonjour, je suis une pomme. C'est pas, pas je suis une pomme, hein? Non. Une non, pomme. je suis une. Non. Je suis une pomme. Non. <rire> je suis. Do you want to hear his backpack? Yes. <laughs> Bless. The Pantheon here in Paris is inspired by the one in Rome, and there are many similarities between them. But the one main difference is that the one in Rome is still used as a church, and this one here in Paris is used as a mausoleum. Also, interesting fact, one of the tombs in there is Marie Curie's. Off to the next stop. Welcome to the Garden of Luxembourg, the biggest park in Paris. It has a whopping 55.6 acres. Let's go explore. <laughs> the garden has this beautiful fountain that's behind me, and we're seeing this wonderful thing where there's mini sailboats going along the fountain and the kids are pushing them to keep them from the edge. And we are walking. Alright, after getting some more baked goods, our next stop is going to be the one and only Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. And we made it! It's so cool, it's like a party. There's music, so many people just chilling. Great vibes and wow is the Eiffel Tower beautiful. being one of the most touristy places in the world, there is a crazy amount of people that are going to try and sell you stuff. Now all we have to do is just figure out how to go up it. And we are in line. Who knows how long this will take. All right, they just checked our COVID certificates. Now we're going to try to get tickets. How you feeling, Rika? I'm scared of heights. I don't know about this. Okay, so the elevators are closing pretty soon, but it's still possible to buy tickets for the stairs to go to the second floor, so that's the plan. Waiting in line. We are climbing this thing. I'm really scared. Rika doesn't like heights very much, so she's holding on to me, but it's gonna be okay, right? 
We're climbing up the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> Okay, we're almost at the first platform. Good. It's helping to look at the stairs. And the fact yeah. that there's people makes me feel better. I just gotta keep moving. Just one step at a time. I can breathe. This is stable ground. My heart is literally racing in my chest. We are on the first floor. Okay, Rico is a total champ, got to the first level, and now she's gonna hold the fort down here. I can't go up anymore, it's scary. <laughs> I'm gonna go up while there's still a little bit of sunlight and give y'all a good view. Let's go. Alrighty, let's climb this thing. And here I am. Let's check out the view. Okay, time to head back down to get Rika. Chara, it's so cold. And I'm back to the first level and I found this girl safe and sound. And this is where we're gonna end the video. Thanks for coming with us as we toured Paris. And if you wanted to stay tuned as we try to go to 50 countries, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Bye, guys. Peace out. I don't know if they have enough chandeliers in here. <laughs> How do you wear a bidet? I, I a bidet? <laughs> what are these called? Beret. Beret. <laughs> How does yours look so cute? Is that right? Yeah. We're currently doing a big charging session, charging all of our devices and batteries, etc. at the Oriental Bowl. Yeah, but I'm tough. I know. <laughs>